What's up my darlings? Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. So last time we started by running around for a bit on the Citadel, we had a couple throwbacks to Mass Effect 1 and then we ran into Zaid and he's just off doing his Zaid thing, good for him. And then we ran into Jacob, which was unfortunately kind of uneventful because it's Jacob, but it's nice to see that he's rolling with a new group and we were able to save some scientists in the meantime, which is always a plus. Today we are going on to Priority Perseus Vale, which ever since this opened up, I saw Quarians and was like, I want to go there, I want to do that, let's go. Um, so I'm not gonna get my hopes up that I'll see Tali today, but I'm hoping because we're meeting with the Quarians that we might run into her and then snatch her away. <laughs> but who knows what's gonna happen? Let's get into it and find out. Grab yourself a drink or a snack, get cozy, and let's get to it. Headphones are going on. This is not a drill. Everyone stay calm. Don't panic. I mean, the Reapers are coming, but don't panic. <laughs> we're finally doing it. We're finally going to see the Quarians. I don't know if we're going to the homeworld. I don't know what's happening. All I know is that Quarians are happening, which could mean Tali. I just want to see Tali. That's all I want, if I'm being honest. If I happen to see Tali's amazing auntie from Mass Effect 2, I'll be extremely happy. But I just want to see Tali. I miss her. I want her to come on the Normandy with us. Unless she's doing something very busy and important, in which case, do your thing. The one thing I do want to get done a little bit before we go into the actual mission is I want to do more planet scanning because we had more stuff open up. I think that's what we'll start with today is more blah and more planet scanning <laughs> and then um we'll go on to priority perseus fail all right my darlings let's get into it and boop that any button boop and we are back hello trainer how are you hi hey thanks for that tip on the scientist by the way we managed to save them. If you could do more stuff like that, that would be great. Also, I don't know if you remember Jacob or Zaid, but they're not coming with us. I'm sure you'll hear people talking about them. Oh, hey, trainer, guess what? I got new fish. Do you want to name some of them? You can name them if you want. Okay, bye. <laughs> I think, I always forget her name, I feel bad, but the reporter wanted to speak to me in my cabin, so maybe I should go to the cabin. I should go and see if anybody's waiting for me. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I can invite Trainer. Ooh, should we have Trainer come in? That's interesting. So I was under the impression that I could summon the reporter to come and chat to me, but it looks like I can invite Trainer to my room. All right, let's give it a try. Boop. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Boop. Okay, your cabin is gorgeous. Thank you. An apartment smaller than this. They look so alike. Oh, it weirds me an out. Actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. You can use my shower if you want. Why am I looking at her like well, this? Commander, ready to play? What? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Oh. Interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. Oh, she was serious. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? I have a bad feeling that's it. Ooh, ooh, that's it. Am I trying to like imply that something else, I guess at this point, if I haven't romanced Liara, I could then initiate a romance with Trainer. I mean, I would love to investigate that. So I have a bad feeling is like related to what we're talking about. That's it is like, oh, that's all I'm gonna get. I thought you came here for something else. I don't know. I know it sounds terrible, but given how little Liara has spoken to me, <laughs> even though we're in a relationship, I'm honestly so curious what she will say if I say that's it. I'm so curious, but I also have a bad feeling that I'm gonna like borderline sexually harass her right now. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm too curious. Oh God, I hope I don't regret this. I don't wanna make things awkward. Okay, that's it. The most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess. Well, if you're not up for the challenge, try me. Okay, okay. 
So we are playing chess. Oh, come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, <laughs> in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 square grid. I mean, you know what I some mean. of us do. Infantry, a good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. <laughs> They're actually that discussing war tactics. Show. Amazing. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan. Oh my god, the Mark way she's an unstoppable sitting like this. <laughs> destruction. Yeah, I get it. That's me. Yeah, yeah, watch it. I find it interesting that she's a way more experienced chess player than me and she just made up an excuse to hustle me. I mean, good for her. <laughs> she's having a good time. I'm gonna guess and say, yeah, I get it. That's me. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. <laughs> That's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Number of Thanks. testicles punchline? So, rematch? Hell yes. Hell yeah. Oh, that was an interesting line delivery. Hell yes. <laughs> okay, the amount I've had people tease me for shooting people in the crotch, and now there's a testicle punching joke. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with that. Yay! Oh, she's gone. I was hoping there'd be more to that. I also like the fact that I once again had the empty wine glasses out with no wine in them. What can I say? I really know how to entertain <laughs> guests. <laughs> I obviously didn't know Trainer existed before I started three, but Trainer would be a cool romance to explore. I really like her. Although with my Shep, it keeps weirding me out like how similar they look. They literally look related. So I don't know if I'd be able to get past that. <laughs> Maybe another time. Oh, I can use the intercom again. Should I call somebody else? Let's see. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Oh, here we go. Right away, Commander. Taking care of business. Ready for a chat, Commander? Sure. I'm ready. Do you like my fish tank? Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. Uh -huh. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? I mean, honestly, no. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell the public that. I don't want to cause panic and stampedes everywhere. How can I phrase this? If I want to be smart about this, I mean, I can just state the facts and say they tried but failed. Cerberus has <laughs> limited resources. True. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do. Oh, the zoom cost in. cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? I mean, that's an excellent question. I'm just gonna let the camera stay on me while I think about this. What if Shepard just started dissociating? <laughs> like, stopped answering questions? Maybe if I stand here and just stare into space, she'll leave. I'm filming a very artsy documentary right now. We need to get shots of you looking wistful and gazing into the distance in front of your fish tank, by the way, with the glow on your face. Very nice. We need plenty of this for the B-roll. Just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Crap, I need to think of something. How long have I been standing here? Has it been too long? I can't tell how long it's been. What do I do? Do I say something? <laughs> do I just back away slowly? Ooh, I can get testy and end the interview. Or I can say you can't lose faith. All right, now that I've stood here in silence for a very awkward amount of time, I'm gonna say you can't lose faith. Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. It's interesting this is happening right in my bedroom. Duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Huh. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. <laughs> the face Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Those are some incredible Beautiful bottom commander. lashes. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. 
I'm okay with that. Woo. First of all, wow, I have a lot of people hitting on me in this game, more so than usual. Second of all, dang, okay. Wow. Ooh, I can say I'm okay with that. Let's keep this professional. Do we flirt back? I'm also kind of wary of the fact that she has a camera with her at all times. Like, she could be filming me at any point. Not that I feel like she would do anything questionable with that footage, but I'm like, if I'm around somebody who has a camera, maybe I should keep it professional. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I'll just... Thanks for the offer and everything, but I think I'll keep it professional. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, oh. did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. Oh, oh, I didn't I mean that. I was just another wrong signal. being See friendly. See you, Commander. Uh-huh. She's trying to save face now. <laughs> well, my reputation went up. That's, that's cool. Is there another one? I can do it again. Ooh, who else can I talk to? <laughs> oh, I like that when I very directly was like, uh, let's, she totally backtracked and was like, oh, oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't mean that. Oh, did, did you think? Oh, did you think? Oh, that's, how silly. All right, let's see who's next. I mean, whatever. Who's next? James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. James! On my way. Yay! Dang. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? Hi. Hey, man. Good, James. You? Good, good. Welcome to my room. Do you like my fish tank? Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. Yeah, totally. You want your own ship, Vega? I can see it. Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. <laughs> you just come up here to make fun of your commander. What are you trying to say, my guy? Sorry. Excuse you. <laughs> wow. Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. What's up, dude? Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? Um, I don't know. I'm just going to say I thought about it, because I think giving things thought is important. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. True. I hear that. Got to figure out if you can training, commit to best it. Best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Are you thinking well, of joining? Even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. Interesting. The same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Huh. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... I mean... The soldier's the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. Huh. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. I do really appreciate that they didn't just make James a typical meathead bro. Like, they actually gave him a pretty likable personality. He's a likable character. Yeah, not to say that's a bad thing, but a lot of these characters can get, you know, stereotyped into certain personalities or be pretty one-dimensional. James is pretty interesting. All right, I need to know the details of what happened. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? That's tough. What didn't go wrong? Everything went wrong. We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, oh my including God. our CEO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. Oh. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. Dang. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship, but it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. Jeez. Soldiers are expendable? Oh my god. I could never. I'm gonna say you still did the right thing. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. 
That's right really choice, horrible, though. The easy one. Losing that many yeah. people. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Ooh, um, hell yeah, that's up to you. I don't know if it's just me, but he doesn't sound, like, super excited about it. Is it just me? He doesn't seem like he's, I'm definitely going to do it, I'm excited, I get it's a big commitment. But I don't know if I should be, I don't know, like, I feel conflicted as well. At the same time, I do feel like he is looking for somebody that he respects to give him validation that he should go for it. I think what I'm reading as unexcitement for the program itself is actually probably just him, you know, kind of having imposter syndrome about whether or not he should join because of what happened. So I think he's looking to me to validate him and be like, no, you would be great for this. So maybe I should say, hell yeah. I mean, I do think he would be great at it if that's what he wants to do. So I'll say, I'll say hell yeah. I see when we survive this, that's a no brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If Yay. you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Okay. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> Are you flirting with me, Lola? Oh! I'm going, I'm going. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Oh my god, I just had three different people directly hit on me in my room in front of my bed. Like, I get I'm doing these all at once, but like, wow. Wow. <laughs> Dang. Finding out that most of your crewmates would sleep with you if given the opportunity, that's a... Uh... Wow. What I mean is that in all three situations, the conversation went that direction somehow. There's a lot of thirst on board today. I'm here for it. All right. Um, okay, there's no one else we can call. Phew. I'm gonna get out of my room before somebody else shows up. <laughs> oh, none of them will Yara, I just realized. Eh, <sighs> boop. Well, now that we've uh, <laughs> gone through all those conversations that all turn slightly flirtatious one way or another. My goodness, is it hot in here or is it me? <laughs> Now that we've had a, a day of thirst, let's uh, let's go do some planet scanning. <laughs> Boop. All right, let's take a look at some of these new systems that have opened up. Attican Beta, Arctur Stream, Athen Cluster looks new. Okay, so we've got a few spots where we can go scan. Do, 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 do. Let's try Arctur Stream. There's already Reapers here, but like, Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Wee! Signal confirmed. Oh, I got a thing. Boop. Ooh, a journal. Intel from Battle of Arcturus. Lying at the L5 Lagrangian point of Themis are the fused metal fragments of Arcturus Station, destroyed by Reaper capital ships. The station once housed the Systems Alliance Parliament and the nerve center of their military armada. Now it is a cold gray for 45,000 people. Oh no. Rip to all those people, that's horrible. More scanning! Let's scan over here, do do. Let's scan over here, do do. Let's scan over here. Oh no, they're coming! They're coming! No! I'm gonna scan while I go. Ooh, ooh, they're quick. Ooh, they're quick. No! Oh god, I thought that was the mass relay. Oh, they're gonna get me. Ooh! Ah! Oh. Rude. Rude as hell. You rude as hell. Now I have to scan Signal again. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Boah. Don't touch me. Ooh, it's over there. Run away. Boop. <laughs> yes. You can't catch me. Boop. No. 
I'm gonna get this thing. Quick, 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 quick. Boop. Oh, what is it? Wreckage. Yeah, I got fuel. Okay, bye. I hope it was worth it. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Oh. oh, my God, that was so close. He was literally pinching my butt with his little claw. <laughs> Sorry, I got really carried away there. Wah. Let's go back. Wah. Ooh, let's go this way. Wah. Boop. Evasion successful. This way! Wee! Boop. Interesting. I'm not used to seeing this cinematic for planets that are in the same system. That's interesting. I found something. Ooh, 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 what is it? Boop. Yay, fuel! Boop. Hooray! We got 100%. Hooray! And we eluded the Reavers. Bye! Boop! Woohoo! Alright, that one's crossed off the list. What about Ethan Cluster? Let's go investigate. What if when you went through the mass relay, it went wah? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Wah. Oh, 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 I got a thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, what is it? Ooh. A rune. Ooh, let's scan. Scan. It's a pretty planet. Let's go. Come on, the Reapers are coming. I need to find this thing. Can't the scanner go any faster? <laughs> what did I get? What did I get? Book of Planets. Oh, I remember seeing that in my journal. Oh, it's the Volus homeworld. I think it was the Volus that was looking for that book. Yes. Run away, run away. <laughs> All right, I got fuel. Let's go. Run. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Faster than light jump successful. <gasps> oh, that was way too close. <sighs> rude as hell, rude as hell. Oh! Oh my god, they're right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. Evasion successful. I'm going over here. <laughs> I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> Boop. Let's do some scanning here, shall we? Whee! They're coming! Wah! Oh, I got a thing. Boop. Yay, I got more fuel. I really needed it. Thank you, Boop. <laughs> no. Reapers eluded. Don't touch me. Wah. Wah. No, 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 no. No. Faster than light. Bad squiddies, no. Let's go this way. Wah. Wah. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread shepherd. <sighs> Let's go back. Dun, 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 dun. Aha, I got a thing. Boop. Yay, more fuel. Wah. Hello, ma'am. Do you have a minute to talk about indoctrination? We just want to talk. No. <laughs> Go away. More scanning. Oh, he's right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. This one says it's still at 50%. That's interesting. I'm going to try again. Don't you want me? I'm busy. I have things to do. No. You know what? I'm trying to scan, and you guys are making it... V oh, there's one. Oh, nope. He's right there. Nope. Nope. <laughs> No. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread shepherd. No. Boop. Oh my god, he's right there. <gasps> oh, let's scan quick. Oh, let's scan. Edie, can't we update the scanner? God, it's like molasses. Ooh, Volus Dreadnought. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm all for more war assets. Let's hope I survive. <laughs> all right, pray for me, everybody. Go, go. Oh, oh, I made it. Oh. All right, let's go to this one, because I feel like it. Ooh. Hello. Oh, this is a big one. I found something. Oh, oh, oh. What did I find? What did I find? Scan. Quick. <laughs> yes, Volus engineering team. Let's get it. I'm going to scan as I go. Get it. Oh, no. Oh, they're way too close. 
No, 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 no. Reapers, you Don't moving. touch me. You're rude as hell. Don't appreciate your sass. Wah. Wah. Oh my god, they're right there. Nope. 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 <laughs> Too close. Too close. Quick. Boop. What did I get? What did I get? Fuel. Yes. Run. Oh my god. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. These two still have some percentages left. So let's let's finish them off. Boop. Why yourself? I'm busy. I have things to do. Faster I'm trying to do some successful. planet scanning and you guys are just interrupting. Wah. Wah. You know, I don't appreciate all this. I'm scanning all over the place and nothing's coming up. Dun, 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 dun. Aha. There we go. Scan. Let's go. Volus Intelligence Archives. Yes, I hope it was worth it because we're about to get yoinked by the Reapers. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> All right, Aru, you're the last one to still have some percentage left. What are you hiding, sweetie? Give me something. Come on. Ugh. Faster than light jump successful. We did it. We did it. This is a big one, too. It takes a while to get across. Don't touch me! No, you're all rude. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Quick. Ooh. Scan. Big green marble. What do you have for me? I'm so sorry. Bolus <laughs> fabrication units. Yes. Amazing. All right, let's get out of here. Quick, run away. <laughs> 100%. All right, now we have to make it to the mass relay. Run. Boop. Don't blah me, I'm busy. Quick, oh my God, that guy's moving so quickly. All right, where else can I scan? There's Attican Beta. Let's check that one out. Boop. Bye bye, Reapers. Ta-ta, little squids. Can I scan? Signal. Aha, I got a thing. Boop. Wah. What did I get? What did I get? Interferometric something. I didn't see it before it disappeared. Yay! <laughs> I got a war asset. Run away. You can't get me. Oh, boop. <laughs> Quick. Yes, thank you for the fuel. Run away. All right, Theseus, you're next. Ooh, so green, so sparkly. I found something. Aha, two things. I got some fuel. And I got... Ooh, exogeny scientists. Okay. Wee. Oh, I barely missed alerting the Reapers that time. Phew. Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot about these guys. <laughs> Run away! Oh, okay, we made it. I think I've done these already. Oh, I don't remember Valhalla Threshold. I think that's new. To Valhalla! <laughs> Boop. Whee! Time to find Odin. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> Do, 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 boop. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's like, that's like nothing. But thank you, I guess. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, look how sparkly this is. Paz, not to be confused with Pez. Boop. Do, 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 do. Yes. Prothean data drives. Okay. And more fuel. Yes. Bless. Sometimes, you know, I'm in really dire straits with the fuel, so it is very nice to come across it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Micah! Hello. Let's do some scanning. Signal confirmed. Boop. Emergency fuel pods. Amazing. Glorious. Spectacular. Always pleased to be getting things that I need to turn in on the Citadel. Yay, more fuel. Bye. Oh, God. Nope. No, no. Ooh, let's go, scan. This one looks like a little moon. 
Ezo converter. <laughs> yes. Run away. No. Valhalla is clear. Boop. Wah. Boop. <laughs> All right, I think Athena Nebula was also new, so let's jump over there really quick. Taking care of business. Let's do some scanning. Oh, can we scan here? Uh, oh, oh, I got a thing. Boop. Asari Cruiser? Hell yeah. We have other places to go. Or a Sony. These guys are very spread out. Boop. I hope I find some fuel. Signal confirmed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gimme. Boop. Yay, I got fuel. <laughs> Thank the gods. Don't you want me? I'm busy. Da -da 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 -da. Reapers eluded. Da -da -da -da. Gimme this. Boop. Whoa, that's a giant planet. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Boop. Those are impressive rings, I will say. Sorry, research ships. Yes. I'm loving all these war assets I'm picking up. We need all of them. Faster than all right, who's next? Oh, God. I feel like there was one all the way down here. Tomorrow's. Tomorrow's and tomorrow's and tomorrow's. I found something. Creeps at this petty pace from day to day. Yay, more fuel. <laughs> Thank goodness I was running out. Do, 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 do. Can I have more things and stuff? Do, 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 do. Oh, dear. Boop. Another Asari cruiser. Yes. Amazing. Run. <laughs> Run away. All right. Let's hope I have enough fuel to get all the way up there. Ooh, is there a fuel station here? Let's stop in and see. Yes, there is. Boop. Hello. Do you have things for me to get? Boop. Blah. Blah. Signal confirmed. Ooh, I got two things. It's so tiny, little teeny planet. <laughs> yes, sorry, engineers. Get it. Run away. Boop. <laughs> yes, more fuel. Thank you. Phew. All right, last but not least, we have... The Neo all the way down here. Boop. Let's do some scanning. I found something. To get some things and stuff. Boop. Hesperia period statue. Okay, picking up some long forgotten artwork while I'm out doing my job. You know, it's just perks of the job. Finding old artifacts and then keeping them. <laughs> For myself. Da -da 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 -da. Get away from me. Wah. Wah. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't appreciate your sass. Oh, there it is. Boop. <laughs> Yay. Fuel so I can get back to the mass relay. Wee! Run away. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Toodles. I found quite a few Citadel things. I'm very pleased. All right. So I think that's pretty much everything new that's opened up. Yay! Well, that was some good scanning. I'm pleased. I'm pleased with the things we were able to recover. So, let's take a look at Priority Perseus Vale. Are we ready? The Corian fleet offers both technical specialists and support ships to assist with the Crucible. Meet the Corian admirals and obtain their help in the war effort. Okay, are we ready? Trainer, trainer, I'm gonna go see the Corians. Oh my god, their home world is really fun. You should go sometime. We need a chess rematch, okay? I'm gonna beat you next time. Actually, probably not, because you're really good. Okay, bye! <laughs> Boop. At last! I've been seeing this every time I've been playing since it opened up, and now we're finally doing it! Far Rim. Speak with the Quarians. Boop! I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Quarian envoy ship speak with Quarians. Woohoo! Enter orbit. 
Okay, Quarian Envoy ship. This diplomatic frigate is like no Quarian ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature, and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Quarians developed this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being tight beamed to the Normandy welcoming messages. Are the Quarians welcoming me back with open arms. Ah! All right, let's dock. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again. Yes! I love you, Auntie. I hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? So happy she's Seven back. Days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Oh, snap. Violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. Oh, no. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Oh, no, it's cracking off. Oh, my God, it's cracking off. Oh, God, I remember there were very clearly Quarians that really wanted to initiate taking back the homeworld, and we were like, that's a terrible idea, and then there were people that really opposed it. I was worried that they might do it anyway, and it looks like it's happening. So, uh, all right, tell me about your history. Your homeworld? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. Yes, I'm so happy ago, she's back. We lost our world to our own AI creations. The Geth. Mm -hmm. After we attempted to kill them. Right. We tried to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Uh, oof. I mean, uh, oh, this is tough. Because I feel like, am I correct in remembering that the reason they tried to deactivate them was because they were actively attacking the Quarians? Or were they just becoming too smart so they tried to deactivate them? I think it was the latter. I think they realized the Geth were becoming too intelligent and so they tried to shut them down. Yeah, they were becoming self-aware and they didn't like that. I think that was the issue. Yeah, I have to say, I think the Quarians were wrong. No, it was murder. Oh, wow. The she said it like that. Never intended to create a true AI. <laughs> a face it was palm. An which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. I mean... Don't bother! Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. I mean, he has a point. That would only fuel things further, but also there is such importance in admitting you made a mistake because then it also gives the Geth, who are sentient, <laughs> recognition that you did something wrong and you're aware of it. It's such a tough scenario because yes, you can't see into the future, right? You don't know what's gonna happen. And I understand that once you realize you've gone too far, you might be like, oh, oopsie, we need to get rid of this now. But it was kind of too late at that point. So, mm. This is also like, can I point out, this is the worst possible time to be starting a war. Do you know what's going on right now? <laughs> this is the worst possible time for this to be happening. We don't need this right now. Guys, can we, can we table this for another time? <laughs> can we put this away? Yeah, it would be different if the Geth had like started attacking Quarians and it was like a whole issue. It was merely because they were becoming sentient and self-aware that I have an issue with how they reacted. And of course, everyone's gonna have different viewpoints on what is murder and what isn't. We could get into a whole discussion about it. But in my eyes, if something is like self-aware and is sentient and has is able to recognize that it exists, like that's, it's not a great move. <laughs> You know, and I get why they were trying to deactivate them because they recognized that, oh, this could be really bad and it did end up being really bad. But I think trying to deactivate them really probably just made it worse. I feel like most sentient beings that were self-aware would defend themselves if they were being attacked. It is a whole conversation as well about whether synthetic beings are real creatures deserving of rights, right? It's a whole like rabbit hole we could go down. What I'm trying to focus on right now. 
I really want to get into it, but what I'm trying to focus on right now is the fact that they're choosing to invade now, when I feel like we tried to make them aware that the Reapers were coming, and now they've chosen to go ahead with this, I think invading was a mistake. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth again? Now of all times? We may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Mm. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retrieve oh, we'll no. lose ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. Oh, dear. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Letting you retreat, and then you counterattack. I think they should be focusing on retreating right now. <laughs> I don't think a counterattack should be in the cards. We're trying to not get more Corians killed. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. You get the hell out Good. of there. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. I agree. Are you certain you can disable the signal? Yeah, we'll pretty sure. Safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali's yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yay! Yes! to hit that dreadnought. Tali! Yes, she's an admiral now. Oh my god! Admiral? Tali, I'm so proud of you, sweetie. I'm an expert on the Geth. Oh, Tali! Finally! Uh, you are. Hi! I'm glad you're here. Oh my god, oh my god, hi, oh my god, I'm so happy to see her. It's so wild to think of her back in Mass Effect 1 and where she is now, like how far she's come. I love you, I want to help. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. Yeah. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. Thank you. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I'm so happy. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. Legion? So why help them? Where is Legion? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. Ah, she's in politics I'll now. I'll get you out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Yes. It's your thing. Yes. I missed her so much. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Yes, babe, let's do it. Anything for you, Tali. Yes! Priority Geth Dreadnought. Ooh. Let's exit. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys! Tali's back! I'm so happy! I'm so happy! Alright, let's look at the journal. Here we go, here we go. The Quarians have tried to retake their homeworld from the Geth. Unfortunately, the Geth have been upgraded by the Reapers. Oh my god. Trying not to black out. And the Quarian fleet is trapped. Travel to the Quarian home system and disable the Geth Dreadnought, broadcasting the Reaper control signal. Hindsight is 2020 and all that, but my god, the Quarians really messed up with the Geth. They really done messed up. I mean, choices were made, there's nothing you can do about it now, except save the Quarians. <laughs> so, is she on the ship? <gasps> Oh my god, she's still in the war room. Oh my god, out of my way. Out of my way. Boop. <laughs> oh wait, I'm on the floor I'm supposed to be on. This is the floor she's on. Out of my way. Boop. Commander. Yep, no time to talk. Tali's here. Bye. Don't care. Tali. 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 Boop. Tali. <laughs> Hi. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. Oh, that wasn't Tali. We need Tali. to hit the dreadnought. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, let's investigate. I thought it was Tali. I was so excited. Let's see. Patrol fleet. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, 
The patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very excited that Ron is here too. I didn't mean any disrespect to our space queen. If you know, you know. Um, civilian fleet. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ships captains still have power. Okay. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Okay, who has the largest one? Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. Okay. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. That's smart. That's <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Indeed. With the modifications, That's our smart. live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Okay. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought. Oh. They can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. They don't have armor to go with it? Okay, that's a... Okay. Heavy fleet. What can you tell me about Admiral Garrel's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. Okay. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Nice. Okay. Admiral Zen. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. <laughs> research vessels. The technical breakthroughs <laughs> have put us within striking distance of the home world. Well, it was nice chatting with you. You're a legend. You're amazing. We love you. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Bye, Space Queen. We love you. Where is Tali? Oh, she's in Rex's old spot. Boo. But that dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. Hi, sweetie. I'm ready whenever you are. Tali's history. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tali? I'm so happy to when see the her. Started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. Nice. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Okay. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. Oh. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. I love her. We love you, Auntie. We appreciate you. All right, war history. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Ugh. Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. Okay. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. I, I'm just gonna say sounds useful. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? Oh. It only works against the Geth, oh, unfortunately. Damn. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed radar pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And <laughs> garbage data. The Reapers have upgraded their processing power. So it's like social media, most of it's garbage data. <laughs> All right, back with Corian. Being back with the fleet. Aww. Right now it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. Sounds really fun. They just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> I know she's probably going to say no. Can you join me? When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. Oh. If we survive this, we'll have a home world. My people need me. Please. You could help your people's home world by fighting the Reapers. Come on, Tommy. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Okay, it's okay. We can cross that bridge when we come to it. It's okay. It's okay. <gasps> Legion. So what about Legion? Legion. It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. Geth space. And you haven't seen it since? It? Thought I... it was them. Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. Oh. But I was outvoted three to two. Oh. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. And since the attack... Any idea where Legion is now? No. 
In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. Interesting. Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy. Oh, I hope nothing happened to Legion. Invasion. I didn't. You'd have been oh. betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. Oh, Tali. Some of these decisions are so brutal. It's like, exactly, how could she warn Legion without betraying the Corians? It's, oh. oh. And then she's like, I didn't want this. All right, my darling. Well, I guess I'll have to say goodbye for now. I don't want to. I've missed Talk you. Talk to you later, Tali. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. I do. I'm going to go there right now. <laughs> Excuse me, out of my way. I'm going to my cabin. That's all I care about right now. Boop. Okay, Tali, I'm in my cabin. Boop. <laughs> Tali, I'm free if you'd like to come up. <laughs> Two minutes later, she's like, okay, come up now. <laughs> Hi, Tali. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. That's okay. You okay? No. no, no I'm really not. <laughs> oh, honey. million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. 17 million. I mean, I'll say it's not your responsibility. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. It's kind of a group I effort. My father and and Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. It's not. Doesn't mean you if agree with it. Because of me, if if I don't, we'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the admiral's daughter. The Admiral. Thank you. I know. Exactly. And now I can push back against the worst ideas. Good. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? Aww. When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. Oh. You'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. No. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. Who is, you though? <laughs> Most people and aren't qualified. I should <laughs> Things get they back do. Before the admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Tali. We love you, sweetie. Energy drain unlocked. Available in Med Bay. I want to go see what Garrus is doing really quick before we head out. No, Hi, Garrus. No. Oh. Are you okay, Garrus? No, no, no. Okay. Bye, Garrus. <laughs> I thought maybe he'd be talking to Tali or something. That's okay. All right, I am ready to go help the Quarians, so let's go to the map. Boop. Okay, here we go. Perseus Vale. Oh my god, we have to go and disable a Geth Dreadnought. Let's do it. Deep breaths. Let's go. Geth Dreadnought. Enter orbit. Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Rannoch reveal an intimidating array of features, from an improvised main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increased thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages, or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship, they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Quarian fleet appears minor at best. Oh, this looks so grim from the outside. It definitely reminds me of the giant ones that would fly down in the previous games. Now we actually like get to go on one. Woo! Just going onto a Geth Dreadnought. No big deal. It's absolutely fine. Everything's fine. I'm trying not to panic internally. Just. The millions of Quarian are depending on me, it's okay. All I can do is my best. I can't believe we're finally going on one of these. Let's dock. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, so we have to bring Tali. Good. <laughs> Good, look at her, she's back in the group! You guys, she's back in the lineup! Tali, look at her! Oh, can I change her appearance? Oh, very cool! Okay, so we have three outfits to choose from. Should I just go with her? Okay, let's look at the info. 
power recharge speed plus 25%. Okay, what about this one? Weapon damage plus 25. Ooh. Should I go with this one? This one's pretty rad. This one I think looks the best and it also has a cool bonus. Now, the question is, who in the world am I bringing for a mission of this scale? We're probably going to be fighting a lot of heads, so maybe we should bring James? Or should we bring Garrus? Because Garrus is an OG. I mean, Garrus is Tali's homie. They've been friends a long time. Maybe I should bring Garrus? It's a shame because I do love the idea of Edie and Tali. It's kind of like a cute girl squad moment. Even Liara could be fun. It's gotta be Garrus. Ready? Tali, let's get you a better heavy pistol. I'm giving you the scorpion. <laughs> it's a good one. And then let's get her a better shotgun too. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. The spike thrower. Actually, I'm gonna go back and change one of Tali's mods. Um, I don't wanna reduce damage. Let's do melee damage. All right, Shepard has three points and there's nothing that I wanna upgrade right now or can really upgrade. Garrus me boy has four points. I'm going to level up proximity mine. Boop. Rank four has increased damage by 30% or increased impact radius by 50%. I think I'm gonna do impact radius. You know what, I lied. Maybe I will level up cryo ammo. Boop. And boop. Tali, hi sweetie. I love you. Oh my god, she has 65 points. Let's level everything up. Energy drain. One, two, three. Sabotage. One, two, three. <gasps> oh no! Wait! Oh, okay. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Oh no. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. <laughs> I love how he got ready. He's like, stand back. <gasps> Holy crap. My cyber warfare suite has accessed the docking Go on, Edie. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Let's get it. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Nice. Good to have you back, Tally. And maybe with another Dextro aboard, they'll get better Turian food. No. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Michelle did get me some Dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. Chocolate. Turian chocolate. She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh. Dr. Chocolate's got chocolate. Oh, nothing. <laughs> uh oh. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Oh, what? Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. <sighs> okay. Oh, bye, my. Self. Wha Whoa! <gasps> oh my god, this reminds me of the beginning of Mass Effect 2. Holy crap, look at this! It's fine, it looks totally safe. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh it's moving. Can I? Oh, I have to find a way around. This is awesome! 
I love the way the boots sound. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. Oh my god, it's massive. It is huge. Tally, you're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? <laughs> Too much. Oh, so cute. I'm so glad Tali's back. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Oh my god, can you imagine? Just hearing your own footsteps or your own heartbeat. Oh, that would be wild. All right, we got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, this is so cool. How are you doing, Shepard? The lack uh, of gravity is a little disorienting. Just dismidge. Artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Till then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. <laughs> I know, it's like, how have they not seen them yet? With the gather just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. <laughs> oh, Joker, I can always count on you to lighten the mood. Love him. Going as fast as I can, guys. Space boots can only carry me so fast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Yeah, that would be awesome. Not <laughs> Thanks. If I can help it. No, thank you. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, here we go. Oh wow. Dang. Everything's fine. It's totally fine. Oh my god. Ooh. Deep breaths. Trying not to hyperventilate into my suit. Everything's fine. Hello? I'd say your pizza's here, but I don't want you to hear me. I have to be very sneaky. Oh, I was just there. Very cool. Oh, oh! Excuse you! <laughs> Rude. Oop. Boop. Oh, the music is cool. Good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Where are the controls? Oh, they're up here. Up we go. Nice. Boop. Yay! Phew. Got it. You're clear to board. Hey kids. See any action? Meh. All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. Get it, Tali. Take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Nice. Good job, Tali. Proud of you, sweetie. All right, before we do this, I'm gonna give Tali the rest of her points. <laughs> I accidentally booped away from giving Tali her points earlier, so I wanna finish this before we proceed. All right, I'm just going to level these up a few times. Do, 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 do. Defense drone, one, two, three. Quarian machinist, one, two, two, <laughs> three. I'm gonna give her rank four as well. We have increase recharge speed bonus by 40% or increase health and shield bonuses by 20%. Let's include her recharge speed. I'm going to level up everything one more time. Rank four of energy drain is increase damage by 30% or increase impact radius by 100%. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do damage. 
Sabotage level 4 has increased power duration by 50% or increased damage taken by 30% when enemy weapons overheat. I'm going to do power duration. Combat drone level 4 has increased drone's damage by 40%, increased drone shields by 40%, or it has drone explodes when destroyed, dealing 174 points of damage across a 5 meter radius. I'm going to increase damage and shields. Defense drone increased duration by 100% or increased attack range by 40%. I'm going to increase duration. And then Quarian Machinist, I'm going to do rank 5, increase weapon damage by 20% or increase tech power damage and duration by 30%. I'm going to increase her techs. All right, she has 11 more points left. I think I'm going to do Sabotage. Rank 5 has Synthetics explode when destroyed, dealing 507 points of damage across a 4 meter radius, or increase recharge speed by 25%. I'm going to do Explosive Hack. I think that's awesome. I'm also going to give her one more Energy Drain. Rank 5 has increased shield restoration rate by 50% when draining shields, barriers, or power from synthetic enemies, or increase recharge speed by 25. I'm going to do Drain. All right, what's this pistol? Looks impressive. Nice. Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. Oh, I'll very mind, cool. Get a new gun. <laughs> Couldn't find one in your size. Oh, Tali, I love you. That's pretty cool. All right, down we go. Kids. Tali, Garrus, did you go ahead already? Oh, what's this? Geth data. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hello. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Sounds good. Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Oh. oh vents. Always the vents. Oh no, not hey, the vents again. The <laughs> I got set on fire. <laughs> oh my god, don't remind me. I was panicking the whole time. Don't remind me. I was not okay. All right, there's the operations center. It's in the distance somewhere. <gasps> Garrus, we got you a sniper rifle enhanced scope. Yay. Guardian battery. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like huh. the Valerians. Interesting. Expensive. But it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the mm -hmm. fleet rushed the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. Dang. Okay, let's go. Let's look around, make sure we don't miss anything. Ooh, what's this? Bridge controls. Look at Garrus and Tali together again. Oh, hello. How are you? Rude. Oh. Don't touch me. Oh, it's the troopers. I think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Ooh. I think I found that. Hello. Oh dear. Oh, careful, Tali. Garrus, <laughs> I don't want to shoot you, buddy. Ooh, hey! Don't touch me, fool. Admiral Garrow tried a frontal assault. We lost it. Oh no, I missed what she said. That's really weird. She tried to say that same line a couple of times and then Tali's response cut out. That's interesting. I think that was a glitch. This way! Down we go. Hi. Boom! Network intelligence! As we kill them, their attacks become more aggressive! Disable their shields! Oh no! Go on, Tali! Oh my god, that was awesome! <laughs> oh no! Ow, ow, ow. 
I usually use incendiary ammo, but this cryo is is pretty fun. <laughs> All right, kids, let's keep rolling. Boop. More data. Woohoo! We need all the data we can get. Look at these two. I love you, kids. You guys look like you're you're cuddling. <laughs> it's very cute. Boop. Okay. Hello. Oh. Signal console. Look, the signal's hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. Oh, this is really bad. Hacking it and piggybacking garbage data to corrupt it. Nothing worked. Shoot. What are we gonna do? Watch and visor. Cool. I got some stuff. What's this? Sensor Sensor console. Data. Any sign of how the Quarians are doing? We're taking heavy losses. Oh. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Oh, no, no, no. Is there no. We can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's really bad. All right, kids. Oh, my God. The poor Quarians. Boop. Ding dong. Your pizza's here. Hello. Are there more things we can grab? I mean, the Geth have left a lot of cool stuff lying around. I appreciate that. Geth pulse rifle. Is that a... <gasps> is it an assault rifle? Ooh! I mean, it has a higher accuracy and fire rate. The damage isn't that much different. Yeah, I think I'll stick with this for now. Maybe I can try the Geth one another time. This one's working out pretty well for me. Oh, here's another one. Network console. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Okay. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. Hmm. Makes sense. Are we ready? What's behind door number? I lost count. Boop. The Dreadnought Operation Center is just ahead. Okay. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, I thought that was Legion for a second. I got really excited. <laughs> I got really excited. No, it's a bad Geth. No, naughty Geth. I'm gonna go around the side. Hello. Ooh. Don't shoot me, you're rude. I don't appreciate. I see you. Sneak. Couldn't hide from that. Hell yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Where are you? Ooh, ooh! Don't you touch Garrison Tali. Ooh! Ooh! That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. Quick! Boop. How much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling? I think it's handling information from all guests <gasps> everywhere. Wow. Dang. Oh, what's it? Oh! What a way to go. Can you imagine just stepping on a mine? And that's it. That's curtains for you. <laughs> I'm a professional, everybody. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Geth data. My people are getting torn apart out there. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Let me just grab these weapons really quick. <laughs> All right. Here's the console. Damn it. They've locked down the Reaper signal. Oh. They can't shut it down from here in the operations center. Oh, no. There. The Reaper signal coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right. But we gotta get to the get core. There, the Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. Oh. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. Mm. But? The but. Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. Okay. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency, like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. There we go. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. Add a girl, Tali. I'm reading hostile geth on the other side of the doors. Of course you are. Why am I not surprised? 
Uh oh. Okay. Oh no. No, thank you. I don't want it. No, I can see you guys over there. Sneaky little rats. Shall I charge? Boom! Get away! Hi. <laughs> Amazing. Ooh! I'm just gonna come down here and pick you guys off one by one. You know? It's no big deal. There's another one left. Uh oh. Don't touch me. Ew. Hi, can I help you? Let's get to the maintenance shaft before more reinforcements arrive. Quick, run! <laughs> go, Shepard, go! Let's roll out. Do, do. I've served on a lot of ships, but nothing like this. The contours are all off. It's not built for organics. It's really interesting. Too much farther to the main battery. I'm so okay. glad they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. Mm. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Okay. Yeah, against an enemy dreadnought, your combat drone would just float there making that noise. I'm with you too, Garrus. Oh, the wholesomeness. I can't. Tali and Garrus back together again. So sweet. Garrus, oh wow, Garrus looks like he's in a music video right now. <laughs> Garrus, Tali, let's bypass. Ding dong, your pizza's here. Housekeeping. Clunk, 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 clunk. Down we go. Ooh, it's a little bit of a drop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Interesting. We're going around and around and around. Down we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that was an even bigger drop. Ooh, get data. Yes. Damn it. Priority message. A planetary defense cannon just took down Admiral Chorus's ship. Oh, no. They got to escape pods. And I've got Admiral Ron <gasps> trying to establish a secure link. Not Ron. This is Ron. <gasps> the heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold. Oh up. no! Ron! The signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. Quick! We're getting there as fast as we can. Oh my god, no, we gotta help them. Okay, let's go in. Boop. Oh no, boop. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Hello? Oh, wow. What the hell? What? Oh! That's a big gun. Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god! Okay, we gotta run, we gotta run. More incoming! I just need to figure out what we're doing! Holy crap! Oh no, Tolly! <laughs> I, I just used two meta gels and she's not coming back up. Oh my god, I need to get behind cover. Is she back? Is she back? There she is. There's my girl. As long as I stay behind cover, I'll be okay. Jeez. Don't touch me. Boop. Don't touch me. There's a lock. Where? Oh, quick. Up we go. 
Up we go, up we go. No. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Deactivation console, there we go, there it is. Come on, let's go. Boop. Okay. Ooh. That was a huge gun. Time. No way they'll fire with that maintenance lock in place. Let's move. Whoa, do you see this? Holy crap. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Let's proceed. Guns coming back online. Quick! Come on, let's get out of here. We gotta run, we gotta run. Come on, come on, come on. Way too close. Cut that a little close. Yeah. Watch your shield. Understatement of the century. Oh my god. Ooh. Jeez. That is no joke. Holy crap. I can just about reach his head from here. <laughs> there we go. Quick, run. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Holy crap. Oh. Gotta go down, gotta go down. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're good, we're good. Don't touch Tali and Garrus. Holy crap. Careful, you guys. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Oops. Quick! Where is it? Run! Run, Shepard! Oop! Whew. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, hey, excuse you! <laughs> the door just closed on me. Extremely rude. Let's go. Boop. On the double. Understood. Let's go. Come on, kids. Ooh. Boop. close she's good hopefully we're done with elevators I mean come on <laughs> the drive course shouldn't be far fine up we go come on we can do it we can do it we can do it soup nothing over here okay okay you ready Whoa. That's definitely Reaper Tech. But what is that? Shepard Commander, help us. No! Good to see you, Legion. Oh my god! Out of there in no time. Oh, 
Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. No! Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Oh! Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's happened. No! Legion! What have they done to him? I'm so upset. No, I don't think Legion went voluntarily. I think they abducted him and forced him to do this. Why? Why Legion? I was worried when they said they hadn't heard from him in a while. I mean, we were able to save David from a horrible fate like this. Maybe we can save Legion. I trust Legion, no question. Despite the Reapers before, there's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never oh. thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Oh, oh they're friends so now. It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. No. We have secured the hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes, <sighs> deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No, you successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Oh my Nothing god! Is an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate oh. rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. I hate seeing him like that. Once again, the Quarians absolutely messed this one up. I mean, if you back him into a corner like that, oh my god, I hate seeing Legion like that. I hate seeing him like that. All right, let's get him out of there, quick. Got it. Talizora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. <laughs> Oh, he's okay. He's free. Kila. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers oh. are offline. Okay. Oh, here we go. Alert. Death reinforcements incoming. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Signal is offline. Civilian fleet. The bottom fleet will cover you once the heavy fleet is in position. When the later has been on the Good. Let's see what the quarries can do. God, I'm so relieved we got Legion out of there. Oh, I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Jeez. Screens. The dreadnought is helpless. 
No barriers, and the main gun is offline. We can remove their flagship if we strike now. Damn it! This is our chance to withdraw the civilian fleet safely. What are you talking about? We're still on board. Oh my god, what? Of work. What is wrong with you? Oh my god, there's so many. Smash! Is Legion okay? Legion! Here, boop. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh! Holy crap! We gotta get out of here. Shepherd deplete! Hold fire! I repeat, hold fire! Please do not blow this place up! Damn it! Oh my god, I can't believe this! <gasps> Legion! We'll be right there! Go, Shepherd! Run! Oh! Oh my god, what is happening? Legion! Shepard Commander, we can only launch from the upper level. I'm coming, I'm coming! We're closing the door! Double time! Hey, hey. We're losing the biomedical field! Legion! Oh my god, this is so intense. Oh! Oh! Garrus! You okay over there? Um, define okay. <laughs> Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? We're fine. Go! Where's Tolly? Tolly's in there, right? Just waggle the wings or something so I know which one is you. <laughs> waggle the wings. <laughs> okay. Yes. They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead, I cannot I know. believe this. On the Turian border for years, but I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. Yeah. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need Jeez. a fleet, and the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. That was not I okay. Was Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, Barely. The mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. I cannot believe the audacity of this guy. Oh, they got out of their fine. 
is not an excuse, my dude. Like, we were all on board. You were willing to sacrifice us all to make a move that not everyone was in agreement with. Like, what is actually wrong with you? Oh my god. Oh, I need a second. I feel like Geralt took a situation that was already so dire and made it worse. The second they had any control over the situation, he took it to a thousand and he endangered everybody. Like that was way beyond not chill, way beyond. We were already trying to make sure all the Quarians didn't die. And then as soon as the shields were down, he's like, oh, time to take it out. This guy, and then to not even have the decency to like apologize or be like, I'm sorry, I put you all at risk. He's like, whatever, the parameters changed, you get it. Dude, absolutely not, you're out of control. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. Mm-hmm. Tell him. It was a perfect time. <gasps> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. I'm glad I did that. Not gonna lie. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted <laughs> heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? <laughs> Hut. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Jeez. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. Hi, Legion. What He's okay. What is this? Wait, wait. Everybody calm down. Chill. His name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from oh. the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a Them. fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. No. Legion helped me no. fight against the Collectors. No. So did your pistol. Should I worry about you? I don't think no. you to continue this line of thought, Ed. Absolutely not. Legion is my friend. No. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. I'm putting a the stop to that benefits. right now. Nope. Are off the table. Absolutely not. What nope. can you tell us about the Geth? No. Nope. How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades. Correct. They are Apparently. currently disorganized. But once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila. I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Thank you, Legion. Oh, I'm so glad he's okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Where is the distress signal coming from? Oh, it's right here. All right, all right, let's take the distress call. Boop. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh. We've lost barriers. Our call system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We oh my god. Fighters incoming. Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help. We have... Oh my god. Life support failing. Oh my god, Ron. Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, Phew. you would have lost the ship. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I'm so glad I did that. Wow, that was intense. That guy was out of control. Absolutely out of control. I was not expecting to gut punch him. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to go that far, but you know what? I think he deserved it. Sorry. All right, Ron, what's up? The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Oh. 
Jeez. Well, I'm glad Legion was able to show in some significant way that he is on our side. Like, he immediately gave away intel on what the Geth were doing, so I'm glad he was able to actually do that in real time. Legion's on our side. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. <laughs> However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. She needs some time to deal a with Geth that. Geth just saved your fleet. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. Yeah, I don't blame her for being apprehensive. I think we've discussed all this with her, so that's it. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Thank you, Admiral. <sighs> I cannot believe that guy almost got us killed. I am so mad at this guy. Tali, are they you okay? News about that Reaper base. Oh, hopefully they'll give us a target soon. All right. Um. She doesn't have anything new to say, so... Bye, Tali. Talk to you later, Tali. Sure. Oh my god, I cannot believe that on top of everything that was happening, that guy had the audacity, <laughs> the actual audacity, to try and kill us all. I mean, I get, like, in the moment, you're overwhelmed, things are happening, you're trying to make the best decision that you can, I get all that, but, like, my god, we were all on there. And he took the spare moment of power that they had and tried to use it to his advantage. That was a really intense mission. Wow, that's like the most intense mission we've had in a while. I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply lines. You lose your supply lines, you lose the war every time. That is true. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Chirion fuel depot on Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. Thank you, trainer. I appreciate you. More things to do. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, trainer. I'll check that before we end for the day. Hello there. I guess I missed Legion. Maybe he was back here. I thought he'd be in his old room in the med bay. There he is! Legion! Oh, I'm so relieved. Shepard Commander. Hi! You Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. <laughs> Your assistance continues to be noted. <laughs> Geth threatening live ships. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarians' live ships. I'm so glad he's okay. Hostile I was Geth worried. Intend to breach the live ships' defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. Okay. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. Oh jeez. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. I like that he calls them creator. <laughs> it's interesting. All right, let's investigate the Geth heretics. The oh God! You mentioned Geth heretics. The relief what I exactly feel. What happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. Oh! This has resulted in a greater <gasps> number of hostile Geth platforms. Oh no! So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical oh, disadvantage. No. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. There we go, there's the consequence. I was waiting Do for that. Do regrets about rewriting the heretics? They could have been allies. The hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper's signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. Uh. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. <laughs> Interesting point. Quarian the attack. Geth the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. Huh. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it. Really? A significant amount of oh. programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Jeez. I don't want to say so your people panicked, but it's another part of the conversation I can flesh out, so... Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Mm. Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The wow, I can't imagine the that. Perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. Mm-hmm. Afraid you'd be wiped out. Yep. We do not experience fear as you would. 
but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. I mean, obviously. Like, clearly enough of them thought it was a good idea to actually go through with it. What happened to you? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. Oh, jeez. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Good. Of course. That must have been nice. <laughs> that must have been nice. <laughs> Shepard's like, can't relay. I try to tell my superiors and nobody listens to me. Must be nice. <laughs> okay, Legion, I want to talk to you more, but I can't, so that's it for we'll now. Talk later. We will remain here. Okay, sounds good. Do you need some repairs or something, my dude? You've got a giant gaping hole in your chest. <laughs> Just go to the med bay if you need anything. Yay! Tali's on board the ship, Legion's on board. I was honestly really worried for Legion for a minute there. Not okay. Shepherd. Hello, how are you? We need to break off a piece of ship and stick it to Legion so he can <laughs> not have a huge gaping hole on the side of his body, you know what I mean? And Hi, Joker. Admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, <laughs> you know, a tentacle monster under there. Which, tentacle which, monster. Oh, my God. Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Yeah. Adams is good. I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Yeah. Good luck charm. Aww. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? No. <laughs> we are not. We are not okay. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. And you found Legion! Yeah! You still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Sounds good, kids. Thank you. We appreciate One you. Moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. Huh? It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. This is an infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Oh my god, these two so, talking! Don't perceive it as a threat. Nor will they until my day of reckoning. <laughs> ED. <laughs> you did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. <laughs> I see your humor characteristics still lack an expert system. Oh! I think they're kind of flirting with each other in a really interesting robotic way. I'm here for it. That's amazing! All right, kids, I'm gonna leave you to hash that out. Boop. <laughs> Love it. Hello, trainer. Boop. I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got nice. amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. Hell yeah. Amazing. All right, let's check our mail really quick. Boop. Important. From Miranda. Shepard, I have something important to tell you. I need to do this in person. Can you meet me in the commons? I'll send a nav point. No vids this time, I promise. Miranda. Okay, looks like things going on with her sister are revving up. I hope everything is okay, but probably not. It's probably an emergency. And we have the cure from Malin Heplorn, Commander Shepard. I've just heard the news you cured the genophage and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tuchanka and wondered if I did the right thing. This news validates all the pain my experiments caused. I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. Uh, I mean, you can try. <laughs> After you convinced Dr. Solis to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. I thought it would help me make amends for whatever suffering I caused. I had to leave when word got back to clan, wear a lock, and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. Maybe now they'll leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> doubtful. I guess it's the second time you saved my life, Commander. With sincere appreciation, Malin Heplorn. Um... I wouldn't expect forgiveness from the Krogan anytime soon, my guy. I wouldn't really blame them. 
things aren't looking too hot for Miranda. I'm a little worried with like the level to which she has to be incognito, but hopefully we can help her out with that. I wanna see if Garrus has anything to say about the mission. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. <gasps> you just missed Rex. I can't, I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth. Oh, they're chatting. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. That was amazing. So yeah. Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I don't about anything. No. Oh. We should play poker sometime. <laughs> anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. You get that calibration, Garrus. Oh, it makes me want to reminisce. Do you guys remember all the times in Mass Effect 1 that I dragged you guys around in the Mako? <laughs> I'm still so sorry for that. Hi, Garrus. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because right? Reapers weren't enough. Yep. Still, it's good to have Tally here. Yeah. This is as much her fight as ours. I missed Any word her. From Palavin? Some. And I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan mm. are there in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. Oh. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Hear anything from your family? But I did hear from oh. Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. <laughs> what did you tell Victus? What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Mm. Not with the beating we're taking. Jeez. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. Why not? You're a good you know what leader. You're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. He definitely Maybe. is. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. <laughs> Just on a You're right. huge scale. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? <laughs> they don't give a damn about the consequences. Ooh. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. 10 billion people over here die, so 20 billion oh. over there can live. Jeez. Are we up for that? Are you? That's not acceptable. If we reduce this war to arithmetic. We're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. I will try to live by it for as long as I possibly can. All right, see you, Garrus. Love you. Boop. Oh, all right, last but not least, I'm going to go see Liara, see if maybe she's connecting with Tali. Boop. Joko, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. What? I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Okay. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on I'm going to support... Liara. Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? <laughs> I'm just asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. <laughs> Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. That is not the conversation I was expecting to walk in on, but it was pretty great. Good to see you again, Shepard. Yeah, you too, sweetie. Good talk. All right, see ya. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Oh, really? Let's take a look at the intel terminal. Intel from Battle of Arcturus. Ooh, we can get weapon damage bonus or shield strength bonus. Ooh, um, let's do shield strength. And Volus Intelligence Archives, let's see, power damage bonus or health bonus. Let's do... Ooh, power damage. Thank you, Glyph. Appreciate you. Ah, uh, back in my cabin. After a very high-octane, stressful mission, I need to stand and gaze at my fish tank and breathe into a paper bag. <laughs> wow. I, I don't know what to think. That was intense. <laughs> I'm still recovering from the intensity of that mission. 
first of all, I wasn't expecting to see Tali there. That was wonderful. She's an admiral now. Like, I'm so proud of how far she's come. Second of all, I was not expecting to see Legion. Um, it was horrifying. It was kind of like the David scenario all over again, except I was seeing Legion hooked up to a bunch of machines. It was different, obviously, but still not okay and horrifying. Um, I'm so relieved we all got out of there okay. It was really close for a minute there. That Corian put us all at risk, and I'm glad I did the renegade option, because man, normally I wouldn't do that, but that guy almost got us all killed. And there's still more to do. We have more things to help the Quarians out with, and it's really cool that now we have Ron on the ship, and Tali, and Legion, like they're all hanging out. I was hoping we'd get some more of the folks from previous games on board, but I'm just grateful that we all barely made it out alive. I do know next time we do have some stuff we picked up that we can turn into the Citadel and then I think we can go on to the next part of the Corian's missions, but I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. Thanks so much for joining me for Mass Effect 3. If you're enjoying this playthrough and want to see more, go ahead and let me know by hitting the thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button on your way out so you can be notified when new videos go up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.